So this video is going to be relatively short because I shot um, I shot one a little while ago to test the new XA10 camcorder, which this is my first time using. And I had the misfortune of leaving, well not the misfortune, the lack of skill overall, of leaving the camcorder in uh, external mic recording mode, which is what we had it set up for for tech tips. So I did not record any sound from my previous video. So I actually had the mouse cage open recently, but I haven't shown you guys yet the updated aquarium that I got for the mice. So this is a 20 gallon aquarium, a uh, glass aquarium, so you can kind of see the scale of it. There's my cat, there's a Linus foot, just so that you guys have some idea sort of how big the aquarium is. Um, those are a couple photo albums on top of it that keep the cats from getting into it too, too much here. I'm just trying to test more than anything else the relative low light performance of this camera. So, um, based on what I saw already, I think I'll be switching to using this exclusively for cat videos because if you guys ever watch my cat videos, you probably have noticed that uh, usually it's so dark or so grainy that you can barely even make out what's going on. So here, why don't we give the cat something to be interested in? Let's just uh, move a couple of those albums. Hey, cat, move your butt. Thank you. So as soon as I move those, they will naturally go right up on top of it. You can see the flex right there, where the uh, mesh is not probably strong enough for one or two cats to stand on, as they invariably do. It's all good though. What I'll probably do is I'll either get something more solid to put on over top, or I will... Um, build a new lid out of a stronger mesh. I'll figure something out. So I've stocked the mice up on food as well as water because I am going to be going away for a couple weeks and they are not going to have anyone here to take care of them. They're actually quite a bit bigger now that they get fed regularly. So I'm just going to try to get a better angle. Show you guys the mice here. Rumble, move your butt. So I think that should be them in there. Hey guys, hello, see their cute little eyes? Simply adorable. I think there's one of them in the little tube as well, although I'm not sure about that. Let's see if we can get a better angle. There we go, hi guys! Oh, Rumble, thanks a lot. Oh, he can see him now. Which, of course, makes him very interested. It's got really good image stabilization. I'm zoomed in all the way right now. And unless I make a movement, it actually really doesn't uh, shake that much, does it? That's neat. So let's uh, go back out here, see if we can see. If any of them are in their little, uh, their little toilet paper tubes that I added based on the, yeah, there's one, based on the recommendation of one of my YouTube viewers. Should we try to make the mice move? Well, this video is already over f almost four minutes long, but let's see if we can make the mice move at all for you guys. Okay, Rocket, move your butt. Hey. Thanks, sweetheart. Hey, move. Hey, mouse. Rocket, get down. I can't open it with you up there. Okay. Hey, mouse. Can you move? Cats, go away. There we go. Now they're interested. Whenever the mice move around, this is what they do. They try to reach, they try to reach through it. <laughs> I think the mice at this point have pretty much figured out that the cats can't do anything, but, uh... <laughs> yeah, the cats sure haven't figured it out yet. So the mouse is just down there in the corner. You can see them following him around. You boys are adorable. Alright, well thanks for checking out my Linus Cat Tips video. With my stupid cats mushing their face up against an aquarium. 
They are brilliant. That's Rumble. He needs a belly massage. Yes, he does. Okay, that was it.